Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to learn one very, very interesting and amazing technique of solving quadratic equations. This method is different from factorization method, completing the square method, quadratic formula method. So today we'll be learning one very unique and special method of solving quadratics. Let's get started. I will consider the roots of the given quadratic equation as alpha and beta first. Then we can write our quadratic expression would be equal to x minus alpha times x minus beta. Then using Vita's method, we can write expression for sum of roots and product of roots. So sum of roots will be equal to minus b over a minus coefficient of x over leading coefficient minus of minus 24 over 1 we will write 24 here product of roots will be c over a constant over leading coefficient so i will write 128 here now instead of beginning from the product equation in this method we use to consider the sum equation now we have to split 24. So I can write 24 as 12 plus 12 or 13 plus 11 or 14 plus 10. This is equal to 24. Now I can write 13 as 12 plus 1 is 13 and 11 is 12 minus 1. So there is one pattern. I am adding one and subtracting one. 14 we can write 12 plus 2. So 10 is 12 minus 2. Adding 2 and subtracting 2. So we will be getting sum equal to 24 in each case. Here I can write 12 plus 0 and 12 minus 0. Once we will add both will get 24 as a sum. So there is one pattern for alpha and beta value. We have to add one constant to alpha, then we have to subtract from the beta also. So I can conclude alpha will be equal to 12 plus k and beta will be equal to 12 minus k. Now 12 is the average value of 0 and 24 on the number line or we can say it is the half of some value sum of roots value now we have alpha and beta ready now we are going to apply these alpha and beta values to the product equation let us apply so alpha is 12 plus k i will write here 12 plus k Beta is 12 minus k. I will write 12 minus k equal to 128. Now in LHS, we are getting a plus b times a minus b form. So we can apply difference of two squares formula and we can write 12 square minus k square is equal to 128 or 144 minus k square equal to 128. So k square will become 144 minus 128. I will write 16, which is equal to 4 square. Now we will take a square root both sides and get k equal to plus 4 and k equal to minus 4. Now alpha is 12 plus k, beta is 12 minus k. Let us calculate both the roots for k is equal to plus 4 and minus 4. If I will write alpha value for k is equal to plus 4. So alpha will be equal to 12 plus 4, 16. Beta will be equal to 12 minus 4, so 8. In case of k is equal to minus 4, if we will calculate alpha value, then 12 plus k, here k is minus 4, so we will write 12 minus 4 is equal to 8. And beta will be equal to 12 minus k, k is minus 4. So 12 minus of minus 4 becomes 
12 plus 4 value will be 16. Point is for k is equal to plus 4 or k is equal to minus 4, we are getting the same root value. Alpha and beta only getting swapped. So what we will consider here, we will simply ignore minus k value. We will accept only k positive to save time. So I will write here k equal to 4. Once k is known, alpha and beta is known. Alpha is equal to 12 plus k. I will write 12 plus 4. So alpha will be 16. And beta will be equal to 12 minus 4. Value will be equal to 8. Now roots are 16 and 8. Or we can write in the factor form x minus alpha times x minus beta equal to 0. Now we will consider another example x square plus 16x minus 80. We will directly write the sum of roots using beta's method. Alpha plus beta is equal to minus 16. Now we will write the value of alpha and beta. Alpha will be equal to half of sum. So half of minus 16 is minus 8. Then we will add k to alpha and we will subtract k to beta. Now alpha and beta is known. Product of roots alpha times beta is equal to minus 80. Now we will plug in alpha beta value here. We will write minus 8 plus k times minus 8 minus k equal to minus 80. Now we will use difference of two squares formula and write minus 8 is square minus k is square is equal to minus 80. 64 minus k is square is equal to minus 80. Or I can write k square will be equal to 64 plus 80 will be 144, which is 12 square. Now we will take a square root both sides and ignore negative value of k. We will write here 12. Once k is 12, we will apply k values over here. So we can write alpha is equal to minus 8 plus 12 value will be 4 and beta is equal to minus 8 minus k value will be equal to minus 8 minus 12 minus 20. So I can write factors x minus 4 times x plus 20 equal to 0. Let us take another example x square minus 5x minus 84. We will write first the sum of roots and product of roots expression. So sum of roots will be minus b over a. 5 will be written here. Here we will write minus 84. Now value of alpha will be half of sum. So half of 5 is 5 over 2 plus k. And beta will be equal to 5 over 2 minus k. Now alpha and beta is here. We will apply both the values to our product equation. I will write here 5 over 2 plus k times 5 over 2 minus k equal to minus 84. Now we will use difference of two squares formula. So 25 over 4 minus k square. This will be equal to minus 84. Now I can write k square will be equal to 25 over 4 plus 84. Now we will take LCM. We can write 25 plus 84 times 4 is 336 over 4. This addition will be equal to 361 over 4. 
which is 19 over 2 whole square. So I can write 19 over 2 whole square. So we will ignore the negative k value. We will get k is equal to 19 over 2 once we will take a square root both sides. Once k is known, we will apply values here to get the value of roots. So I will write 5 over 2 plus k. k is 19 over 2. So 19 plus 5 is 24. 24 over 2 is 12. Beta will be equal to 5 over 2 minus 19 over 2. So minus 14 over 2 will get minus 7. Now I can write factors easily. x minus alpha. So x minus 12 times x minus beta. So x plus 7 equal to 0. Roots are 12 and negative 7. x square minus 6x plus 10 equal to 0. So using Vita's method, we will write sum of roots equal to 6. Product of roots equal to 10. Now we will write alpha and beta. Half of sum is 3. So 3 plus k and 3 minus k. Now these two values alpha and beta we will apply to our product equation and we will get 3 plus k times 3 minus k equal to 10. By difference of 2 squares formula 9 minus k square is equal to 10. So k square value will be equal to 9 minus 10 I will write minus 1. Now we know that a square is coming out negative. That means complex values are about to come. We know that i is equal to square root of minus 1 and i square is equal to minus 1. So here I can write this is equal to complex number i square. Now we will reject or ignore the k negative value. So we will accept k is equal to i once we will take a square root. Now we have to plug in k here. So we will get alpha equal to 3 plus i, beta equal to 3 minus i. We can write in the factors form also x minus 3 plus i and x minus 3 minus i equal to 0. Let us take last example 2x square plus 8x plus 3 equal to 0. Here we have leading coefficient 2. So first of all we will divide this equation by 2. We will get x square plus 4x plus 3 over 2 equal to 0. Now I can write sum of roots alpha plus beta value. This would be equal to minus 4 and product of roots alpha times beta value will be 3 over 2. Now we will write alpha is equal to half of some value plus k. So half of some would be minus 2. Then we will write plus k over there. Beta will be equal to half of some value which is minus 2 minus k. Let's apply these values to our product equation we will get minus 2 plus k times minus 2 minus k equal to 3 over 2. By using difference of 2 squares formula, we can write minus 2 square minus k square is equal to 3 over 2. So k square will be equal to 4 minus 3 over 2. Or I can write 8 minus 5. So 8 minus 3 is 5 over 2. So k will be equal to square root 5 over square root 2. Negative value is ignored. Or we can rationalize denominator and write root 10 over 2.
Now k is known. We will apply here. We will get both the roots. Alpha is equal to minus 2 plus root 10 over 2. And beta will be equal to minus 2 minus root 10 over 2. I hope friends you will like this method. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe as much as possible. Let us meet in the next session. Goodbye. Take care. Bye-bye.